Uh, what's up YouTube? So I got a special rig for you guys. I actually bought this RX 580 8 gigabyte rig. It's a 9 GPU rig. I bought it from the same guy I got the uh, 5700 XT rig from. And I got this one, if you're wondering, full rig with the 9 Red Devil RX 580 8 gigabyte cards. There's an H110 Pro BTC motherboard down there. Two 1200 watt thermal take power supplies down there. Uh, as you can see, they're down there and it came with a 250 gigabyte SSD. With the rig and everything, it came, he charged me $2,000. Now I just have it sitting on the floor in my mining basement. It's not gonna stay here. I have to wait until I get some tables, but we'll get it clicked on and we'll get it and I'll have to run a first run on it and get Hive OS installed on it. But these are really nice GPUs. So it is set so it'll power on once it gains power. As you can see across all of them, the Red Devils, more Red Devils. Really nice looking rig. Uh, you can back up a little bit and we have it hooked up to a monitor. It is running Hive, but I didn't reset it to my own yet. So I will do that in a few seconds. And it is running on all risers powered by a PCIe. So I don't have to change any of them out. So Hive's booting up. I'm gonna run a first run command prompt uh, and go from there. All right, so here we are. You can see all nine loaded in. Now it does have his overclock settings. So he's running 80% fan. What we're gonna do is run this first run here. So I'm gonna type that in, first run, dash F, and we're gonna run that command prompt. And it should run into a setup. So it says it's done, hive in boot, plus enter to continue with URL. So I'm gonna run Alright, so here we are. You can see all nine loaded in. Now it does have his overclock settings, so he's running 80% fan. What we're going to do is run this first run here. So I'm going to type that in, first run, dash F, and we're going to run that command prompt. And it should run into a setup. All right, now first run is ran. So I had to get a rig ID and password from Hive. And on pretty much how to do this, it's pretty simple here. You just go into your Hive under your farm and in the top right, you hit the plus icon and then a window will come up with a rig ID and a password. So I'm just gonna type that in here and get this uh, rig up and running. So once you have that, you just type it in and it should pick it up right away. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna let this run, and then this rig should be in my farm, and we'll go in it, and I'll set up a flight sheet with Team Red Miner, and I'll probably hook this fan up and blow on this cards, uh, just to try and keep them a little bit cooler. It does get really hot in my basin, so I'm gonna keep the cards as cool as I can. Uh, as you can see behind this uh, getterly setup monitor, you can see all my rigs. Now that rig's still pulled down, I'm still working on it, I do need to swap out the motherboard in that 5600 XT rig. It will not post with six on it for some reason. Uh, six were running. The motherboard might have went bad, but I did confirm that all those cards do work uh, and they all are on working risers and then my other rigs running. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna type the ID in and type the password in and get it onto my farm. All right, so we're in and the rig did add. Now I did mention that plus icon that you click right here and this is what you will click and then you'll see add worker. You'll click on that and pretty much this window appears. Keep it on GC, uh, GPU. You'll type in the name and a password. Uh, now I didn't type it in and we'll just like I didn't type in, but you just click add and then another window appears with the rig ID, your farm hash above it, the rig ID, and then the password to type in. Um, and then you just follow the prompts on the miner. But we are in and I don't have a miner set just yet, but I will in one second. I do have my clocks here that he gave me. 
I didn't set my fans though, so I'm going to set them at 70% and see if it'll stay cool. So I'm gonna set my miner here and we are going to use Ethereum on Team Red Miner, so AMD. We will launch that and see what happens. I might need to update my miner. Nope, updated successfully. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and then we'll check in on it. All right, so I am logged into the rig, but as you can see, it is mining 29, almost, almost 30 mega hash a second across the board. Now, I don't know how stable these overclocks are. Uh, he, he did say he would have about, uh, he, the miner would restart every once in a while. Uh, I have it on Team Red Miner though. He was using Low Miner uh, or LOL Miner, some would call it. So I am using Low Mi or uh, Team Red Miner. So it's mining right now, and I will keep an eye on it. Uh, it's not showing me memory temps, which is okay, I guess. But the core temps seem to be okay. So I'm gonna leave it at 70% fan. Now I do have that box fan on it. When he was running it, he was running it in like a hundred degree environment. So he had the fans on like 90. Uh, power's a little higher than I was hoping. So I may tweak some settings or maybe when this sets in, uh, it'll go down a little more, but I will look at different overclocks for this to see if I can get it just slightly lower since I do have, uh, a lot of cards on here but I have heard of these running pretty efficient so I will look in that but as you can see they're all running micron memory um, and I believe they're not BIOS modded at all so but I am happy with the hash rate that I'm getting out of it so hopefully I can keep getting that and it stays stable maybe I can tweak it just to be a little bit more power efficient so I'll make a follow-up video of this after I dial in some settings and get get it stable and make sure it's stable uh but you know thanks for checking this video out if you have 580 8 gigabytes you know let me know what overclock settings you're using uh you know i didn't tweak any of the stuff in here so i could change some millivolts and things like that uh but for right now i'm gonna leave it as is i know some people i think changed this core index uh to like three or four but you know i also looked in here at some of the popular eth ones and you see for 580s people using dpm three or four uh, but it doesn't really tell you much about what they are getting but i might try some different things like i said and find a stable overclock and let you guys know the profitability and my ROI as far as how long I'm looking to return on this. I did pay $2,000 for it. I did pay in Ethereum, but it was still $2,000 worth. And I did luck out because I paid him right before the market went down like 20%. So that helped a little bit. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Discord group in the description below. Come hang out with us and chat with us. Uh, you know, I'm in there pretty often regularly chat away with uh some of the people so you know make sure you you do that and check out the next videos thanks for watching